Well, a very warm Easter, a very humid Easter. The humidity is going to continue over the next couple of days. We're mostly cloudy right now, but our main concern as far as the weather goes is what's going to happen tomorrow morning as far as fog goes, because when the atmosphere is this moist, obviously fog is something we have to consider. We don't think it's going to be a big deal. It's still going to be kind of breezy, but this is your visibility forecast taking you through the overnight hours to 5 a.m. tomorrow. Okay, it's tomorrow, like today, some fog possible on the North Shore. It should not be overly thick. Here we are right around sunrise, even at about 7 a.m. Visibility anywhere from one to two miles in a few locations. Fog should not be a major issue, but of course, when you get up in the morning, Make sure to turn on WDSU starting at 430. We'll have all the latest visibilities for you. And then, of course, by the mid-morning, the fog burns off very, very quickly. Here are your current conditions at Lewis Armstrong International Airport. Holy cow, look at that dew point. It's 68. That's almost a summertime dew point. 78 our temperature right now, even at 517 in the afternoon. Winds from the southeast at 16, a little bit on the breezy side. And those winds are going to continue to be from the south to southeast over the next couple of days. Low pressure starting to get its act together and colder air is going to be coming in. Check that. I think it should be cooler air, but it's going to be a cold front coming through sometime late Tuesday. You can see all the moisture increasing in the atmosphere at all levels. This is the water vapor imagery. The moisture increasing right now, warm, humid air in place. And again, that's going to translate into just a little bit of fog tomorrow morning probably Tuesday morning as well. Now there isn't any real cold air out there, but we're starting to see the temperatures cool in the upper Midwest and the Great Lakes. I was checking out the forecast for Chicago. The Cubs are supposed to have their home opener tomorrow. Looks like they could get rain with temperatures in the 40s. So there is going to be some colder air coming down from Canada, but our atmosphere is going to get just a little bit cooler. It's actually going to be pretty comfortable once we get to Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Let's go hour by hour and track that front for you. Now you'll notice the clouds may be getting a little bit thicker tomorrow. Today we called it partly to mostly cloudy. It actually was mostly cloudy for most of the day, but it's going to be warm to start your day. Temperatures in the mid 60s, upper 60s, even first thing in the morning. Now tomorrow afternoon, I don't think we're going to get much sunshine. We'll call it mostly cloudy. We'll get to the low, maybe mid 80s, but I think mid 80s is going to be a stretch because we aren't going to have a lot of sunshine tomorrow. Now we're tracking the front once we get to Tuesday. Tuesday morning could be a little bit foggy, obviously very warm to start the day. Here comes the front approaching in the afternoon. Still going to be another warm one on Tuesday with a high in the low to mid 80s. But here's the front moving through in the evening, maybe early morning hours on Wednesday. Does it produce much rain? Not really. Chance for rain officially at about 20%. We may have a couple of showers very early in the morning Wednesday, but I think once we get past sunrise, that should be it as far as rain goes. And then once we get to Wednesday afternoon, we clear off very nicely and it gets a little bit breezy for us, maybe even windy. Mostly cloudy, patchy fog tomorrow morning. Again, we don't expect it to be a big deal. Best chance for fog is on the North Shore, but even there, visibilities less than a mile, not likely, maybe a mile. It's not going to be thick fog by any stretch. After we get rid of the patchy fog tomorrow, mostly cloudy, warm, humid, high temperature again in the low, maybe mid 80. Then the cooler air starts to move in on Wednesday. Wednesday, we're going to have decreasing clouds, high temperature in the low to mid 70s, going to be breezy, if not windy. And look at those mornings, kind of cool Thursday and Friday, but the afternoon still very comfortable. That's your WDSU first warning forecast.